G'day folks, Corey Hind here. I hope you're doing really well. This video is called how to check your Google business profile data, which for some businesses is really, really important. If you're a local area business, a service area business, a business with a fixed location, your Google business profile can be a great source of leads. And lots of people who we talk to, clients and people who follow our stuff, want to keep growing their lead flow from Google business profile. So you need to be aware of the data. Now, the way we're going to recommend you access that data is via the maps on desktop or the phone. Reason for that is people can go there quite easily and access it. If you go the other route, which is business.google.com, that can be a bit confusing for people sometimes. So we recommend this method. Just type in maps.google.com or go to the maps app on your phone, kind of the same. So once you're there, you need to go to the search bar and type in your business name. So type in your business name and it'll pop up. Once you've located that, so mine will pop up in just a moment. There we go. You'll see in the middle here, manage your business profile. So we want to click on that, which will open up a new tab for us. So we'll click on that now. It'll teleport us over here. And you'll see a performance button on the platform. So you may or may not have seen this before. Hopefully you have, but this is a way to get there. Now, what we suggest people do is to dive in there every week or so and have a look around. And probably we think the best thing to do is to compare your performance month on month from the year before, because we find that's quite useful for people. So here's the performance button. Click on there. It'll pull up some data. Now, the time period is usually this sort of time period, six, seven, eight months. It varies from time to time and this gives you an overall look of what's going on in the last few months this is with our our own google business profile if you pop that bar down there's loads more data gives you a look at how many people are on desktop how many are on mobile seeing your stuff it tells you what people are finding you from so if people search seo Todonga, they find us because we we own that top spot at the moment and variations of that for some businesses it'll be more brand specific or it could be location specific but what we suggest people do is go to the time period here and click on the previous month now the reason for that is it it takes out that seasonal variation so some businesses might be way busier in december than june and they look at that big trend and it looks like it's going down but if you go to the previous this option here compares the two months from the year before so you'll see that We've got fewer people seeing our profile this June than last June. So that's interesting for us. For some of our clients, they, they do have seasonal variations. So we recommend using this option. It tells you calls, messages, bookings, all the different things you would expect to see. The business profile interactions up here says plus 19%. So that's a bit different. This one down here was the views of the actual profile. So when people see it, but up here is when people actually interact with it. So if you scout around there, you'll see some variations. You'll also see the phrases once again. But for most businesses, we suggest that you use this tab up here to compare month to month. You might want to go back the previous month and have a look at that as well. You just click on the month and it'll just compare the previous year. So May 23 versus May 22, we had 9% more interactions. So that's where it is. You usually want to see this manage your business profile type of button and then performance. The performance tab is the thing you're after. It will change from time to time. We've noticed changes on this in the last year already. They'll start to include more data as time goes on because their goal is pretty simple. It's to keep you using the Google business profile as much as possible. Because when you're using Google, you're not using other things. And then there's an opportunity there to upsell you to other things. You'll notice in here, if your profile strength doesn't say it looks good, it'll generally try and coerce you into using some ads. And that's part of the game. They, they've got a good platform here and they're trying to get you to embrace it fully. But certainly that performance data is really interesting. I can't tell you exactly what you need to do with your particular listing in this video except to tell you that that's where the performance data is. So you might want to access that for your business and start to compare and contrast and then try and figure out why it's going up or down or what you might need to do to improve. Certainly we help people do that so you can get in touch with us and we could potentially help you as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. 